Welcome everybody to a new how to play video of Sakura Gaming and today I'll be playing Crusader Kings 2. Uh, it's a game where you can play as a medieval lord or duke or well you can play as a count as well in this game. Um, sadly enough you can't play as pagans so that's a bit of a pity. Uh, today I'll be showing you like the basics of the game. Uh, I've recently bought this game so I'm not really good at it yet but at least I can uh, show you the basics of the game as far as I've played it I've been playing as Normandy first uh, as Normandy you in the beginning have an army of 11,000 which you use to take over England and I succeeded in that I became William the Conqueror but in battle I uh, had a blow to the head and um, I became incapable so I was sitting in my wheelchair for the rest of uh, my ruling years until I died and my son took over uh, I wasn't really popular with my dukes and counts so as you can see right now I'm having troubles with putting rebellions down also I've put like a couple of my dukes and counts in prison just because uh, well rebellions must be uh, dealt with properly in my eyes uh, let's see how I will continue this game in the top you will always find like these messages uh, for example my demesne is too big I can only hold five holdings while I have 14 uh, mainly I know that you can solve this through technology which is legalism so you can increase the uh, size you can control um, if anybody has any other options to solve this post it down below of course um, like right now messages will pop up from time to time giving you some options sometimes this this is only like he's a bastard I don't know what he's done uh, oh he has claims on my title yes he is a bastard um, uh, let's see well you can create titles from time to time but well that requires money and I don't have much right now and I've hired some armies to hire armies you go into the military tab and here you'll find uh, that you can raise levies in the medieval ages uh, kings didn't have uh, professional armies so their counts like their regions had to summon the armies for them um, if you don't have enough levies, like I have right now, you can go into the mercenaries tab, and there you'll find armies for hire, which of course cost money and a monthly fee is required as well. I think I've got two of those up right now because I didn't have enough levies and my counts really wanted my head on a pike. You can also uh, you can also see like uh, the vessels that might revolt. Right now there's only one bastard that might revolt against me and I still got two of them that want my head on a pike. Also York I think has revolted against me but it's not really clear. I think he's still under my reign. In the meantime you can see that I'm um, fiddling around with these buttons. Usually in a paradox game in the bottom right you can like change how the map will show you important stuff so right now you can see direct vessels and you can click on the culture tab to see what cultures there are around the world and many more usually I just keep it on uh, the king's tab to see how my provinces are doing or the independent realms but if York is independent then something is clearly wrong or these dukes are having it out because they're fighting but I'm not fighting with them so anyway these uh, buttons are quite interesting to look on sometimes um, besides that I quite like the uh, council option in this game you got like counselors you can put uh, you can appoint them yourself and send them on missions for example as we can see right here Tottenham is going to uh, rebel against me so let's find this bastard by using the find title and then Tottenham just type it in 
Now you can see that's over there. Then I'll just get my marshal to press the revolt in that place. And hopefully he will just stand down. But I think he'll just uh, want my head. Oh, he wants peace with me. Uh, but is it a white piece? I just want him in jail. I decline. I almost got his head on a on a pike, so I rather want to finish him off. Okay, uh, there's a law step. I haven't really done much with it right now because I'm kind of in a civil war, as you can see. But here you can make different choices about how you rule your kingdom. It's pretty uh, important to fiddle about with it sometimes. Although, as usual, the choices have their positive and negative things. Also, I was telling about the technology tab later on. I didn't really tell much about it. Um, yeah, I'm not really familiar with it yet. I just focus on the things I think that are right. Uh, and as far as I can see, in every tab you have, like military, economy and culture, you can pick one thing to focus on, which your empire will uh, increase in a bit faster. I've also seen a guy on YouTube check, like, uh, for example, if you want better bows, you click on this tab here, and then you check which region has the best bow technology so you can see this one is highlighted and this one so if you want your technology to be increased and you need a counselor for example to uh, get the technology boost because I hope it still makes sense <laughs> but your counselor can increase technology for example uh, let's see yeah, study technology so if you want bows, then you put them in that region and that's the best bow technology. Um, yeah, these are your personal choices. So my um, goal in life right now is to have a daughter, I already have a son. And sometimes you can make like special choices to get a holy man to court or to get a Great hunt, you name it. Also, here you can see my prisoners. Uh, yeah, I can execute them if I want to. Sometimes I think it's the best, but oh well. Uh, I can also see plots against me, and it's my damn kingsman that is trying to kill me, bastard. And it's, I think it's his wife. Wait a minute, he's not trying to kill me. His wife wants him dead. <laughs> well, I can arrange that for. I think he's in jail, isn't he? Yeah. Oh, well, perhaps later on. I can do that. In the diplomacy tab, it's usually um, the normal stuff you can do in a paradox game. Although, in the usual paradox games, you had an overview, like you can easily, for example, contact the Holy Roman Empire. But I think because you can contact the duchies and all the counts and all the dukes uh, yourself separately I think they've made it a bit more easy like if you want to contact the guy from Holland you click on him and then it's in the diplomacy tab and I think if they had to make a list of all the duchies and counts out there I think you would go crazy here's the religion tab um, yeah I can't really say much about it. I have several bishops. Of course, you can try to become the Pope, I think. If you get the right amount of uh, favor in the council or if he appoints you to a cardinal, I suppose. But so far, I haven't really done much with it. Um, yeah, here you can find like characters suitable for anything you want, to be honest. I lately have done like um, I wanted a wife for my king so I say gender in prison of course not if, if she's in prison I can't uh, you know uh, uh, married of course not ruler well 
I don't really mind. Religion, yes, your own religion, my culture, yes. And an adult, of course, I'm not going to school kiddies. Uh, great house, any. Well, there you see. Then you get all the females that acquire that uh, specific options you've picked. And then, if you want somebody that kinda likes you, you press the opinion tab here you can see that she's the only one that really likes me the rest of these bitches don't want me so fuck off <laughs> but that's how you can find people you uh, could use for anything marriage or uh, for an ally you name it now let's get into the gameplay a bit oh yeah um, trail uh, children that lack a guardian uh, a guardian is like somebody that teaches your child uh, I tend to get a king to do that for me so you can kind of keep a good relationship with them but sometimes if it takes long the AI will just uh, pick somebody for you to do it now uh, this guy because uh, if you take all his provinces then it's a 100% right here um, I hope I'm still making sense because there's so much in this game to talk about but um, in the bottom right here you can see who I'm fighting with let's just pause for a minute because everybody wants my head right now but below it is a percentage green means that you're winning red means that you're slightly getting fucked or getting steamrolled uh, if it reaches 100 which it usually does when you have all its provinces then you can easily enforce your demands which is for me right now for him to get into jail So that's that rebellion done. Now I need to get my troops out of here to the other rebellion. Now there's only one more count that wants to eat my heart out. And I'm not really getting what the hell's going on here because he only. Because it's the count of. Bedford and Bedford is here and he's risen against me but the guys fighting with me are over here but oh well might be something I'm overseeing but I surely know that I'm, uh, I'm going to kill them to be honest let's see where was it again the laws no oh yeah trick tab let's see he doesn't like me. Too bad for you! Count William of Evro is using this option is viewed in tyrannically and will lower all your vessels opinion with you. Minus 10. Ah, why is it always such a negative thing to uh, chop somebody's head off that has risen against you? Oh well, let's just uh, let them rot. Oh, there was one guy that kind of liked me again, I think. Hmm. Well, let's release him. At least I'm a bit merciful. The rest of them uh, still don't like me. Well, that's your problem. Um, let's get my armor to the other side. You need to do that with this button right here. And you need a big enough fleet. And your ship, of course, needs to be in a harbor. Yeah, um, oh, I'm, I'm not really, well, I used to learn French at secondary school, but I'm not really good at it. I hope I pronounce it, I hope I pronounce it right. Press de jure de cal claims are kind of like the casus bellies in the other uh, hearts of, uh, oh, not in hearts of iron, paradox games. Um, 
so if you declare war on I think it's this nation over here yeah um, it's not seen as tyranny or any other bad thing so it's kind of a claim on the land I can usurp one title of that guy that's attacking me but also this requires money and usually it gives a bit of a bad effect taking somebody's titles away isn't uh, the way to make you a beloved king so to speak is over I can just uh, explain something again taking over a province in this game is not like you used uh, to in any other paradox games because provinces now have cities and in each city you need to conquer so if you have taken a city but not the whole region you will see stripes but they're not full and when the stripes are full you'll know that you have the uh, total region. I'm going to check what's going on because this part of England is supposed to be mine. He's complaining about his dark cell. Ah. Oh. And this is what I don't get though. Very well, I shall be merciful. And then it's like diplomacy minus five. Eh. I'll just let him rot. If there's nothing positive uh, in it, then why should I do it? I'm still at war with a lot of people. This guy is uh, fighting against somebody. So it kind of looks like two dukes are having it out right now. Victory. Now, here's what I told you guys about. Um, I've taken one city, but not all of them. So the region is bit striped but not mine totally yet also you can see that I uh, have these guys standing around that those are the counselors I told you about I think uh, this guy is uh, the guy I pointed to suppress the uh, revolt and this one is uh, studying the culture also I think my mother but that's not my mother <laughs> where's my mother there's my mother what the hell is she doing taking some guys in prison well, it seems my mother doesn't have a, a character that can be displayed on the map. But she's around here somewhere, uncovering plots. But yeah, um, these are the basics you kind of need to uh, play this game. Um, usually how I learn these games is like just trying out checking the buttons usually when you hover over something in a paradox game you kind of get information but if you don't get information well in steam you can just use a uh, shift tab and google it and well that's how you get further now it's fully striped meaning that I uh, now I've taken this 
Why is everybody complaining about their cells? My cells are nice. Seems he's almost broken. Also on the top right you have the usual uh, score, your wealth. Prestige in this game is kind of weird. Um, I found out that you can use prestige to take titles away from others. So it's kind of uh, a score you need to do some things. But it's, as far as I know, it's not significant. Oh, he wants peace. Screw you. Um, and then there's piety. Well, that has to do with religion, of course. The more piety, the more the Pope uh, licks your ass. Um, this is the size of yeah tiles you can control. I currently have too much, so I need to find a way to uh, get this uh, off my neck. Uh, yeah, this is your total realm size and your game score. Another prisoner. How many guys do I have in prison right now? Christ. Oh well. I can release these two. At least they like me. The rest can rot. Also, the tabs I click away fast is uh, the tabs that sometimes pop out to give you extra information which is of course useful for you guys but I yeah I don't need them anymore only when I'm like uh, perhaps there's something useful in it but no. somebody wants my daughter King of Navarra doesn't sound like anything I want my daughter to go to where is that Kingdom of Navarra. Woof. Well, now you get to make a choice. Um, she wants to get married, to be honest. She's been whining to me about, like, eh, I want to get married. And I need to find a suitor for her. If you let your daughter get married by that guy, you kind of get your blood into the family. So later on, you can get a claim. Or. They can claim you, but this sort of a kingdom, well, doesn't really matter to me. So I can't accept. Why not? Also directly gives you an ally. Come on, 76%. Let's pace up the game a bit. And here you can see like how fast the game is going. Uh, when I'm at war, I tend to play a bit slower else messages pop up and you can't really uh, hold on to them. This is the only option so far that pops up pretty much that I don't really like. It's uh, people saying like I could be a better chancellor than him and when you say like he's now my new chancellor your current chancellor hates you and then there's like I rule my kingdom of uh, England and then the guy that's like I can be better hates you. And then there's the only one option you can pick which doesn't do anything negative is to give him a chance. And that is your uh, current counselor. And then you say okay, but later on the guy still comes to you like, well you promised me to give me a chance. And then you still need to get one of them pissed off. So yeah, in the end you can't keep everybody happy. Greedy little bastards. Well, now it's just a case of taking over some of their lands. There you go. They are not liking that. Of peace, and I'm on demands. And that's the rebellion quelled. Uh, I now have to get my armies to stand down because they cost a lot of money. So yeah, this this is the basics. I hope I kind of make sense here. 
if you got any questions of course you can ask them down below and I will answer them or make another movie showing you how to do it. Um, thanks for watching and uh, I hope you enjoyed this video.